A cylindrical water tank has a radius of three feet. Water is being poured into the tank at a rate of five cubic feet per minute. What is the rate at which the water level in the tank is rising when the water is four feet deep? All right, so what we're dealing with is a cylindrical water tank. So we're dealing with volume equals pi r squared h. But we know, we know that the radius is three feet. So the volume is pi three squared h. Okay, so I can write out nine pi h. Now this is a related rates problem because I'm asking you the rate at which the water level in the tank is rising. So what I wanna find is dh dt and I know that I am pouring water in at a rate of five cubic feet per minute. So I know that the volume is increasing, dv dt is equal to five. All right, so let's plug in what we know. Well, first off, I can't even do that. I have, since this is related rates, I have to DDT both sides. So let's DDT both sides. The derivative of V with respect to T is DV DT. Nine is nine, pi is pi. The derivative of H with respect to T is DH DT. So nine pi DH DT. Okay, I need to find DH DT. I know that VD, dv dt is going to be 5, and that's going to be equal to 9 pi dh dt. Let's divide both sides by 9 pi, like that. And dh dt is going to equal 5 over 9 pi. Now you might be thinking, well, what about the uh, the four feet part? What about the four feet part? It doesn't matter. If you're pouring water in a cylindrical tank, it's not going to speed up if it's at four feet or three feet or six feet or whatever. Okay? It doesn't really matter. So that's how you do it. A 10-foot ladder is leaning against a wall. The base of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of one foot per second. How fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the base is six feet away from the wall? So this is what we know right now at this very moment. We know that you're a ladder and you're 10 feet tall. Okay, don't know why I made my L look like that. So let's just get rid of it and pretend it never happened. My L is gonna be 10 feet tall. I'll call you my H and I'll call you my B. What I have here is Pythagorean theorem, okay? So I'm gonna write out H squared plus B squared equals 10 squared, also known as 100. Now, what I need to do is I need to use related rates and DDT both sides. So I'm gonna take the derivative with respect to T of both sides. All right, because this is mentioning my ladder sliding away from the wall at a rate of one feet per second, and I care about the speed at the top of the ladder sliding down. So that would be, I'm looking for dh dt, and I know what db dt is. So let's take the derivative of everything. The derivative of h squared with respect to t is 2h dh dt. The derivative of b squared is very similar, 2b db dt. The derivative of 100 is zero. That's nice. So let's see what I also know because I seem to be missing a little bit of information. I know at this very moment, I care about the fact that the base is six feet away from the wall. So B is six. I also know that if I use Pythagorean theorem, I can write out H squared plus six squared equals 10 squared. Find out that that's gonna be 36 equals 100. Subtract 36, subtract 36. H squared is going to equal 64. Square root everything. And now we're not gonna include a plus or minus and find out that H is eight. I could have also used the fact that this is a three, four, five right triangle doubled, but nah. So H is eight, so two times H. DH DT is going to be the speed at which the height is changing, and that's what I'm looking for. So DH DT, no changes there, plus two times B is six, nope, yep, six at the moment, and DB DT is one because that's how fast it's sliding away. That's going to equal zero. 
so 16 dh dt plus 12 equals 0. Subtract 12, 16 dh dt equals negative 12, divide by 16, divide by 16, and you get dh dt equals negative 3 quarters. Now my uh, unit of measure is feet per second, so we'll say feet per second. And there you have it. That's the ladder problem. Fun, fun, fun. The radius of a circle is increasing at a rate of 3 inches per minute. What is the rate of change of the area of the circle when the radius is 4 inches? All right, so let's write out our formula for the, rate, the area of a circle. A equals pi r squared. I care about the change in uh, the area, so I'm going to da or d dt both sides. So d dt, d dt. The derivative of a with respect to t is going to be da dt, and that's going to equal nothing happens here with pi. Multiply by two, make you an r, and attach dr dt. Okay, whenever you take the derivative of an r squared with respect to t, you have to attach the derivative with respect to t. So, uh, what do I know? I know that the, oh, oh, what is the rate of change of the area when the radius is 4 inches, but also the radius of the circle is changing at 3 inches per minute. All right, so the radius is 4, so dA dt is going to equal pi times 2, the radius is 4, and dr dt is 3. So that simplifies out to 2 times 4, which is tw uh, 8 times 3, which is 24, 24 pi uh, inches per minute. And that's how you do it, related rates.